Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now I'm in Sheila's greenhouse and this is the Cymbidium that's only only one that's uh, flowering and it's the one I've given her and I've got two like this but I've given her the one in flower. Uh, we'll have a look round the greenhouse and we'll see what's going on. There's a nice big plant here with a nice new growth. These are the old growths. And this is a Dendrobium spectabilis, and the new growth is fantastic. Look at the size of that. Dendrobium spectabilis. This is a Ceratops stylus uh, rubra, with plenty and plenty of new growths on it. You can see they're all coming out here, absolutely full of new growths. And the beautiful plant's this one because uh, I did fill it, film it a few months ago, last time it was uh, flowering, and it's a, one mass of red blooms. Absolutely beautiful. This is the uh, Dendrobium senilli, which was dying off, so she put it in some moss here, which is now clinging to this piece of wood of uh, gorse. That's the old part of the plant and she's got new growth here and uh, they was said that they should keep these very wet but she did, does the opposite. Since she's been keeping it dry it's done much better. Dendrobium senilli. Here's one that's doing fantastically well. Beautiful blooms on this when it does and it's an epidendrum Medusa and it's got all these new growths on it. I don't know whether you can see them clearly or not because there's one, two, three, four, five new growths on it. Six with this one here and that's the original one. So that should be absolutely beautiful of all those new growths flower. Epidendrum Medusa. Here's another one that's doing very well, Dendrobrum primulinum, and it's got uh, one, two, three, four, five. This has also got six new growths on, and some more coming out of one of the old canes there. So this should be quite nice. It looks like there's a bulb sight in there. Oh, this should be nice. Dendrobium primulinum. Now here's a plant with many flowers on and I do believe it's a zygopetalum. These plants are facing away from us so uh, I'll just turn one over. And another four flowers here. I can't actually see the name of it yet, but it's uh, Zygopetalum. Don't know where it begins. See that one hasn't got a, uh, a lip on it for some reason. That's strange. All the others have lips on them apart from this one. And it looks like it's never opened. Where are we? There. Totally different there than the other plants. Then over here at the back she's got numerous in bud there. I don't know what they are. But plenty of buds on there. Plenty of buds coming on this one. Which is a... Dendrobium songbird. Some buds coming on that one on the canes. Maxillaria there, a yellow variety coming out with lots of uh, buds. Usual cactus that she keeps. Now this is the Fias Colossus. This has got some nice uh, new growths on it with buds. Another one there. And another one here. 
where they're just opening. Facing into the bright light here, so I hope it films it. There's none of them really open those buds, those uh, flowers, but it'll be beautiful when it does. There's one over here, I think this is another dendrobium. Move the camera over. There we are. I'll see if I can find the name of that one for you. Yeah, I found it. It's Dendrobium Vanilla Pomeray. If I could just reach, I'll show you this one. And this is a Dendrobium Delicatum. Oh, I can't be bending over here for so long. But that's what that one is. And she's got a little uh, Phalaenopsis open here. This is Phalaenopsis uh, Happy Fang, sir. It's a strange name, but quite a nice bloom. There's the blooms of a Doritinopsis purple gem. Beautiful colour. Just coming out. The more more uh, flowers to come on that one. Now this is a division of a uh, uh, Barbacella Druseri and uh, this must be, might be a foot long this, by about uh, five or six inches wide. So that's doing very well, see it's only a, a division. We'll show you the mother plant now which is huge. Now this is the mother plant, absolutely massive. On a piece of uh, bark, a large piece of bark. Must be 18 inches up there. And there's even some uh, fern growing out of it. Some more there. Another fern there. And look at the size of the plant. Absolutely magnificent. This will have thousands and thousands of little white flowers on when it blooms and that will be in about uh, September, August, September this will come out. be absolutely gorgeous. Barbacella Ducerai. Well I'm sure she has plenty more in bud. But I can't reach half of them, I don't know how she manages. Look at the size of this for a plant. Well I just got disturbed by Sheila then. But she now uh, shows me what I've missed. And that's this one here. Which is a Garciana and it's a Prosecchia. And it's absolutely full of spikes. They're the blooms of it. And it's got one, oh there's another one with two blooms on it there. One, two, three, four, five, about six spikes on it. So that should be nice when they're all in flower at the same time. And the last one I'm going to show you is this uh, Phalaenopsis wilsonii with one, two, three, four spikes on it. That's the biggest one. And the others are coming up from there as you can see. And these are beautiful little things. And this was uh, a gentleman who's no longer with us. Loved it, this plant when it, when it was even little. And he said to her, you can have this, but uh, what you do, look after it. And she's certainly looking after it. And this must be three or four years ago. Well, three years ago, I think. It was during the uh, COVID period. And yeah, that should be lovely. And I'll get a picture of that when it's in bloom. So thanks very much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.